hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is chrissy and in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful shift dress with a coat shoulder sleeve okay so if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel you can only hit on subscribe button to notification bell so you'll be notified anytime new video is dropped okay so let's dive right into today's tutorial so guys the first thing you need to do is to first draft this on a pattern paper like this after drafting you can now use it to transfer an ultra fabric okay for me i came down by 8 inches after placing my tape this is for the chest line i also marked 15 inches for my waistline i marked again 23 inches for my hip line after that i also marked 37 inches for my gown length including the folding allowance okay so i also repeat the same thing on this other side here so after making my point i will use my ruler to make a straight line just like this you connect it this way okay so after marking the next thing i want to do now is to divide my shoulder circumference by two plus one plus half an inch stitching allowance after marking I also do the same thing on the chest line and I use my ruler to make a straight line okay so after making a straight line like this I'll place my tape from the shoulder line I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope then after that I'll measure what I have left from there to the chest line I have seven inches I will divide it by two mark the midpoint also come inside by half an inch then after that on the chest line I marked quarter of my bust circumference then I have to connect the three dots I have here like this using my curve rule then after that you label it as the shoulder line and chest line this is the waist line this is the hip line and again this is the gown length okay the last line was my gown length okay so after that for the neck wideness i will mark three and a half inches for the neck wideness and also come down by three inches for the neck depth okay this will not have a zip allowance okay there is no zip allowance on this dress so that's why i made the neck wideness three and a half okay so after making my shoulders loop i'll divide my bust circumference by four add one inch for the stitching allowance and one inch for the ease okay on the waistline you mark quarter of your waist circumference then add one inch for the stitching allowance then one inch for your ease on the hip you mark your hip quarter of your hips measurement then mark one inch for the stitching allowance and one inch for the ease after that you go ahead and connect the three dots you already marked so after marking, I'll place my tape on the hip line. I'll measure what I have there in two times was 11 inches. I will go ahead and mark the 11 inches at this gown length here. So after marking, I'll use my ruler to connect it. Okay, you connect it in a straight line like this. No zip allowance on this dress. All right. So after connecting everything this way, the next thing I want to do now is to cut it out. So after cutting guys this is what i have here so i also use the same pattern to cut out the back remember there is no zip allowance and the depth of the back and front will be the same thing okay so your head can pass through when wearing your dress do you get so for the material i want to be using i want to make use of vintage material and what i have here was three yards after i'm making my dress i had one and a half yard left that means i used one and a half yard for this dress you know i'm a very small person that's why so if you are very fat, if you are chubby, you are big, you are bigger than me also. You can make use of two yards, two and a half, all right? So now I want to just go ahead and cut it out. You can see that I'm just transferring to the actual fabric by folding my fabric by two this way. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out, okay? I'm not adding any half inch for the stitching allowance. This vintage, this vintage is stretchy, okay? It's somehow stretchy so no need of adding any half an inch for the zip sorry for stitching allowance so after cutting guys this is what i have here so i already went ahead to cut out two of this okay so this is what i have here you can see what i have here guys this is for the both piece for the back and front all right so the next thing i want to do now is to bring my black bias i'll go ahead and pipe the neckline you just place it like this the right side of your fabric right side of your dress go ahead and place it and so okay after so you turn it the other side then stitch on it like this 
so guys after sewing you can see what i have here for the both piece this is where i have here after i was done okay so now you place it again the right side facing each other so now i want to achieve the coat shoulder on the armhole area so to do that you have to place your tape on the shoulder line then you come down by how wide or open you want your coat shoulder sleeve to be okay that is where i want it to start from all right so you can mark four and a half you can mark four inches if you want for me i left it at five inches exactly okay so after marking you go ahead and notch okay so now after notching you bring your bias then you're going to place your bias from the shoulder line to the point you notched okay you place it from there to the point you notched exactly then you cut off the excess go ahead and sew after sewing you you stitch it on the other side it's like a piping okay like you're piping the armhole area but i'm only going to stop at the exact point you notched okay that is where you will stop all right so i'll do this here and i also repeat the same thing on the other side after doing all of that i also go ahead and join the shoulder okay so guys after sewing and joining the shoulders you can see what i have here can you see this is what i had guys after i was done can you see so the next thing i want to do now is to place my tape on the shoulder i will come down by my waistline which is 15 inches then i'll go ahead and mark do the same thing for the other side so right now this dress has a bed holder it's a small little piece there i don't know how to explain this but it's a bed holder it has it and this is what i have here can you see you just sew it like a rope it's just a small rope shawl go ahead and sew then after sewing i'll just measure about two inches by length you cut it out measure two inches on the other rope you cut it out then i will use this for the belt holder all right this is the two of it right now just fold it like this like you are attaching a loops you just fold it this way then go ahead and place on the waist side of your dress okay use the other piece to cover it up when you are sewing you go ahead and stitch it okay also go ahead and repeat the same thing here as well okay can you see how i'm placing my you go ahead and place yours like that after placing you just cover it up with the other piece then go ahead and sew from your armhole down to the other side do the same thing for the other side as well okay so after doing that i will also hem the down part of my dress okay you fold it with one inch just like this so guys after sewing you can see what i have here can you see this is the side and this is the bed holder can you see i did this on the both side after that you can see the hem parts have gone ahead and sew all right this is how your should look like once you are done so after everything i'll just keep my dress aside and i work on the sleeve for the sleeve what i have here is seven and a half inches on the foot and i have two pieces inside okay for the both sleeve so what i will do now is to just mark half of my sleeve round measurement plus half inch stitching allowance my sleeve round is 12 inches so by half an inch divided by two is six inches and i marked six and a half for the stitching allowance half inches for the stitching allowance do you get so for the length i have 14 inches for the length okay plus one inch for the folding so now after i was done with that what i'm going to do now is to bring my dress and i'll place from that exact point i notched to my armhole side of the dress then after placing you go ahead and cut the excess out just like this just cut it out after cutting guys this is what i have here for the sleeve and i'm not yet done okay so for the opening of the sleeve what i did what i did was to place my tape then i came down by six and a half inches you can decide to come down by nine inches eight inches ten inches this depends on how open you want the sleeve area to be okay the sleeve itself this is how open you want it to be so from that six and a half inches i marked i'll just go ahead and connect it this way just connect like this then after marking you go ahead and cut it out okay you cut it out this way can you see so after cutting everything out i'll just open my sleeve i'll open it up like this then i'll place my tape and measure what i have there okay you place your tape like this then you measure what i have here so after i was done measuring what i had was 18 and a half inches okay so after measuring i had 18 and a half inches i'll keep it aside then i'll cut out a flay a small circle flay okay 
So now this is another piece. You can see it's on a fold of two. And I also folded it again. Now I have a fold of four. So I want to cut out a small circle fillet like I said earlier. So first I came down by four inches. Okay, remember we had 18 and a half. So I came down by four inches, then I, I made a circle with it. After that, I had to measure to know what I have there. And after I was done measuring, I had six inches, okay? And it was too much. So what I did was to divide the 18 and a half inches I got, I'll just divide it by four. This is what I should have done earlier, but I forgot. So I had to now divide it by four. Once you divide by four, you get your exact wideness, okay? So for me, I got four and a half inches, okay? So now what I did was to come down here by two and a half inches. Then after marking, I measured it again and it was four and a half inches exactly. So now you're going to determine the length you want. Place your tape from the first line. Okay, I place it from the first line and I'm marking five inches for the length. Okay, it's a circle flay, a very circle, small circle flay. So come down by five inches okay including the folding allowance after marking making a straight line sorry a circle line with it i'll just go ahead and cut it out then after cutting i'll open it up then i'll measure it again and i had exactly what i wanted so i want to use this now to cut out another one okay so it i will have two pieces here after cutting everything this is what i have and i had to slash it by two so i opened it up like this i opened it up like this you can see how it looks like so now bring my sleeve then you go ahead first thing you do here is to go ahead and hem the sleeve fold it with one inch so i'll do the same thing on the other one as well okay so after um folding let's just assume you are done folding like this the next thing you want to do now is to bring the flay that you cut you bring it here make sure your sleeve itself is facing the wrong side like this then for the flay you place the flay the right side on the wrong side of the sleeve place your flay the right side on the wrong side of your sleeve if you don't understand what i'm saying please watch what i'm doing here so you understand okay you place it in a way that after sewing your sleeve together with the flay when you turn it to the right side it becomes exactly like this or it looks exactly like this so after sewing guys this is what i have here Okay, and the next thing you want to do now is to notch the sleeve. After so, you go ahead and notch. Okay, and I also fold the hem part of the flay. Okay, you can see that I folded it by two like this. Okay, so after notching, guys, this is what I have here. Can you see? This is what I had. So the next thing now you want to do is to fold it like this. Then go ahead and stitch your sleeve. Okay, and the next thing I did again was to make a top stitch on the wrong side of the sleeve. I made the top stitch and I also did the same thing on the other sleeve. Okay, so this is how yours should look like. And see how mine is looking. Yours should look exactly like this. So after I was done with everything, the next thing now is to bring my dress. Then I'm going to just place them right side facing each other. I'm going to I'm going to make sure everything are very close to each other. So when sewing or when joining the sleeve, Make sure the flay of that sleeve is facing towards the armhole side, okay? Do not um sew it like this. Just make sure it's facing towards the armhole side. If you don't understand what I'm saying, just look at the armhole side of the sleeve so you understand what I mean here for the flay, okay? So after I was done sewing everything, guys, I'm done joining. I'm done joining, guys. This is what I have here. Can you see? This dress is looking so beautiful and the material, I so much love it, is looking so beautiful. This vintage material is everything. So the next thing I did again was to just sew this rope, okay, for the belt. And you just pass it through your belt holder, okay. Just pass it through your belt holder, just like this. Then after that, you can tie it at the front or you can tie at the back, okay. Whichever way you want to style it, you just go ahead and do yours like that. Okay, so how do you see this dress? I hope it looks so beautiful. The next thing I want to do is to go ahead and iron it out. After ironing, I'll put it on so you see how it looks like. You already saw it in the beginning of the video, but I'll show you again, okay? So you see exactly how everything is looking. So this does not have front or back. You can actually decide to wear anywhere you want. So guys, this is the final look of my beautiful dress. My vintage dress is given. This is very beautiful. I hope you love it. Please try yours and tag me. Okay, let me just see how yours looks like. I want to see how you created yours. 
okay so guys you have come to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye